Hi, good morning. My name is Taven Royster. I'm a realtor here in Nashville, Tennessee. I grew up north of town in Sumner County. So today we're going to talk about the Sumner County real estate market. Everything changes by the week. So I like to track data in real time. And now I'm sharing that with you all. Every week I sit down and I look at how many listings are coming on, what's going off, who's going where, have I seen that house before, what are interest rates doing, how is it affecting the market, because it's important to stay very well informed when there's a lot of chaos in the economy, in the market, in the world, and right now we've got a fair share of that. So. Let's dive into it real quick. Today we're gonna to focus on interest rates and increasing and decreasing values on homes. But real quick, just looking at Sumner County, green is active listing, yellow is under contract, still showing, absolutely worth looking at, in my opinion. Uh, orange is under contract, not showing. Gray is coming soon to the market. Let's take a look here. As you can see, we've got 152 listings in the last seven days, which is great. That's up a little over 20 uh, listings from last week. You go here into Gallatin, lots of opportunity, lots of opportunity in Hendersonville. Um, this one looks like it actually got withdrawn. That's unusual. Um, we've got some stuff over here off of, uh, off of 65 and 31 going up through White House, Portland, Westmoreland, Bethpage, Sumner County still doing great. Lots of opportunity. Again, we're looking uh, all the way up to 500,000. We're not going beyond 500,000. Um, I try to keep it you know, real close to the, the average uh, sales price. We're gonna jump over to InfoSparks. And so what this shows us is this is year to date for Sumner County and the entire MLS. And so it gives us an idea of what the average sales price of a single family home is right now. 433,000, and so we're gonna use that number today. Bankrate.com this week has us at a 30-year fixed rate mortgage at 5.479%. That's up uh, from 5.429, I think is what it was about this time last week, negligible increase. The Federal Reserve met on May 4th to discuss increasing their target rate. That does not always affect the mortgage rate increase, and that's really important to remember. And here we are, I'm gonna show that to you. So here on the federalreserves.gov website, in support of these goals, the committee decided to raise the target rate range for the federal funds rate to three quarter to 1%, and anticipates that ongoing increases in the target range will be appropriate. So we could continue to see interest rate increases. The target rate being three quarter to 1% is higher than it has been. We've been closer to, to zero and half a percent for quite a while. Um, and it could affect the mortgage rates. It does not, again, it does not necessarily mean that it definitely will. But if it does, here's what we can look at. So what you've got here is, I'm just gonna show you, this is all for information purposes only. Uh, they're just estimates. These are not taking into account your credit. Um, it's it's just, just a basic principal and interest payment. We're not even talking about taxes and insurance. And so we're gonna go ahead and start with the $433,000 price range. At 5.5% on a 30-year fixed mortgage is $2,450 rounded. If the market shifts, and we see this flood of, of uh, activity and, and listings hit the market, and for some reason, pricing on, on homes drops, and say it goes down to 415,000, but interest rates continue to climb, you're still at that $2,490 payment. If we drop down to 400,000, but interest rates go up 1%, which a year ago, they were about a percent lower, uh, two years ago, they were about 2% lower, uh, but if it drops down to 400,000 and it's six and a half percent on a 30 year, it's still $2,530. If we go all the way down to 375, but interest rates come up to 7%, you're at $2,495. I show you this to say, the market's gonna shift and change. Nobody knows for sure what's going to happen next. There's gonna be a whole bunch of people who have their best guess and they're putting it out there and, and that's their prediction. And, and some of them will be right, some of them will be wrong. Every single individual buyer, seller, investor is going to have their own individual needs. And so what's important is for you to schedule a consultation with a great loan officer and a great realtor who will have a consultation with you, sit down up front and identify what are your motivating factors, where are you trying to go, what's the best way to get there. 
If you are ever looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate in the Sumner County or Nashville area, I would love to have the opportunity to interview for the position. Again, my name's Taven Royster. My cell phone number is 615-830-6004. I'm a realtor with Remax First Choice here in Nashville. I look forward to talking to you. Thanks for watching our videos. See ya.